I wanted to ask you about something. There was a yes. thing uh, on a, uh, I think it was a BuzzFeed show or something, where they have a new technology where they can swap two human beings' faces. Right. Uh, and, and they use the technology on us, weirdly. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I they... Think, I think that there was a... There was a Nicolas Cage film about that, I think. <laughs> yes, there was. Yeah. They actually put your face on my body, and this is... Wow. There's the original, and then Oh, there's... no, they put... <laughs> wow, what? that is a horrific thing to do. <laughs> I will say this. Your chin is carrying a lot of the work there for both of us. <laughs> that, that computer has very wisely said, let's take Fallon's general... Let's just put his glasses on Fallon's face. <laughs> That is, uh... oh, but wait, I actually have a video as well, and I wanted to show you if you haven't seen. Look at the video. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, it's real oh, deal. Oh, no. It's real deal. Nobody wants that. Yes. That, that happened. Yeah, sure. That's a lot of... That's, that's a lot of... That's very impressive technology that could be used for a great number of good things. I think deep down we all know it's going to get used for porn. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really? what's going to... Yeah, yes, Jimmy, yes! <laughs> Everything gets used for porn. Every major breakthrough is used for porn first and last. <laughs> that is going... I'm, I promise there's going to be a lot of porn films with you in now and a lot of very bad <laughs> porn films with me in. Oh, my God! And, and as for our combined mutants, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy to publicly license our... <laughs> Our our offspring. Face. That's right. I'm happy to say it can be used you in pornography if it's tasteful. <laughs> if it's a nice. Don't say that. No, no, no. no, no. If you it's can't tasteful, speak Jimmy, for my doesn't, Jimmy doesn't. Swapped body. Jimmy doesn't. I can speak for half of it. <laughs> it Jimmy doesn't want to be associated with anything. To, just a nice romantic scene. Set it up. Tasteful. No, no, that's right. Let's. We'll, we'll keep it classy. Pan to the fireplace. Oh and God. then you know. Classy. Let yeah. the let the start. All right. Uh, what? No, you kept what? it classy. What, you what? Kept NBC? Classy. What? Oh, well, that's right. Different rules. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Different rules here at NBC. <laughs> uh, season five of yes. your show that's on HBO. <laughs> uh, did you just pivot there with an edit point, Jimmy? Yeah. I think you did. <laughs> no, I think you did. I think leave, you did. We we'll leave that in. We have. <laughs> I got time to fill, man. <laughs> I have leave that yes. in. But really, though, let's talk about your show at HBO yeah. because you just finished season five. Yes, we Congratulations. did. Congratulations, honestly. Thanks, mate. Thank you. I, Thank you very much. It was one of the best shows on television at this moment. If Thanks, you have mate. not seen uh, Last Week Tonight, Please you watch. do such a great job on that show. It is always uh, informative, every, uh, very topical, but also very uh, uh, thorough. And you do these amazing pieces, and I just, I'm a giant fan of oh, you thanks. and the crew over there. Oh, thanks. I'm our star, we're so proud of our staff. They work incredibly hard. And yeah. what our favorite thing that we ever get to do, obviously, like long, the long, very complicated stories are very satisfying, but doing really dumb with HBO's money is the thing that makes me happiest. <laughs> Just irresponsibly using their resources is, is my quiet, consistent joy. Yeah. So, so this year, like, uh, what we, we buy a lot of dumb things. This year, uh, Russell Crowe had a divorce auction. I remember And that. so we bought, uh, we bought uh, his uh, jock strap from the 2005 <laughs> movie Cinderella Man. Yeah, um, he was actually auctioning that off. That's right. He yeah. was auctioning it off. So we bought it and we sent it to a blockbuster in Alaska to try and keep it open, like a kind of, you know, a museum to, drive to, to movies. Didn't work. <laughs> anyway, we, we, heard, we heard nothing. <laughs> Nobody wanted to go to the blockbuster video to see his jockstrap? Well, I, 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 obviously, I'm different from the people of Alaska. Yeah, that would be, you can't speak that would be a magnet yeah, to me. Uh, but I'd heard nothing from Russell Crowe about this. I presumed he was very angry until, until he did the most spectacular thing, because he used the money uh, to... Uh, fund and construct uh, in Australia Zoo in Sydney uh, uh, the John Oliver Koala Chlamydia Award. <laughs> and it, it might be the single best <laughs> practical joke I've ever been on the receiving end of. It's the perfect joke in many ways. You've got the sign, right? It's, he did this. It's real. He did this. In Australia... <laughs> <laughs> it's... It's incredible. He's genius. It's, I, I am genuinely he, impressed Russell with Russell Crowe's ability to land a joke. <laughs> my name for the rest of my life, especially in Australia, my name will be synonymous with koala chlamydia. <laughs> and that is... If it wasn't that's already. That's a shut-down joke. That's a dunk. <laughs> that's a windmill dunk. You really, yeah, it is. Good job, Russell Crowe. Good job. Uh, good job. Good job, Russell. John Oliver. Good job. John Oliver, everybody. New episodes Thanks of well. last week. Thanks Tonight, well. we'll Thanks be well. on HBO in February. Oh,
and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on. <laughs> 